Hello guys, welcome back to the Spicy Sweet Design channel and this is gonna be another unboxing and review of something that belonged to somebody else. Uh, I have run out of budget on this channel. I can no longer afford to buy anything for myself. So these are stuff that are sponsored by uh, viewers or uh, my customer. For example, this one is going to my friend in the Philippines or Indonesia somewhere in the islands in the pacific islands uh it's actually rob's friend but you know we we buy a lot of stuff on super 7 here in san francisco uh for this guy and then we send it overseas to him because it's cheaper for us to buy it at the retail price of like 49 dollars for these figures uh that's including tax uh then for him to pay like you know 60 something 70 dollars and then plus shipping so anyway uh this one here is the super 7 Wave 3, Conan the Barbarian, Pit Fighter, Conan. Uh, as always, you know, Super 7 is pretty cool. They're located in the San Francisco uh, and San Diego. Uh, I've been to the store maybe one time. This is actually the first time I go there. Rob goes there a lot to buy stuff for uh, our friend. Uh, but for me, you know, I'm, I'm just really not into stuff that have five points of articulation. Uh, I didn't know they have this line called the Ultimates, which has improved articulation. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, this one's recommended for ages 14 plus. Obviously made for adult collectors and stuff like that. So there we go. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be the first time ever of me reviewing something from Super 7. So I'm a little bit excited. I don't know anything about a brand. And uh, you know, I don't know anything about quality control and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> However, I have done a little bit research while I was at the store. I was looking at this Conan figure's accessory, and I am kind of suspicious to see uh, the Atlantean sword and the father sword. Uh, they appear to be, um, you know, oversized. And I want to see uh, if they work with 1-6 scale figures. That's why I have my TB League 1-6 uh, scale uh, Taria figure here. Uh, this thing is still waiting to be sold, guys. So, it's a consignment item. And uh, yeah, the owner needs to get rid of it so he can pay off his uh, metal bill. All right, so there we go. Open up this bag. Uh, this, I originally bought this figure and I wanted to uh, sell it. Uh, I sold it to him for like two fifteen. Now it's worth like close to three hundred bucks or something like that. Anyway, uh, let's get back on point. Here we have the actual figure out the uh, plastic bag. Um, I like this texture of the packaging. This is very high quality. Definitely better than NECA. <laughs> uh, it feels like they're trying to be like Mesco and Hot Toys, sort of, with these kind of packaging. Uh, I think these are like the 7 inch scale, so they're 110 scale, something like that. And here we go. Here we have Conan the Barbarian and the Atlantean Sword. So, you see the Atlantean Sword here, and then you see Taria with her 1 6 scale sword. I'm gonna see if this sword. These two swords work with that figure. But anyway, here we have the uh, Conan the Barbarian, the Pit Fighter outfit. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I'm, I never, uh, I was never like a big fan of 80s movies. Uh, so, <laughs> none of the retro stuff, like, you know, uh, I have no nostalgia with like retro stuff. Uh, for the most part. Uh, in the 80s, I watched mostly anime, like uh, Saint Seiya and uh, stuff like that, so, yeah. Doraemon and Saint Seiya, and then Gundam. That, that's all I've been exposed to. I don't watch a lot of uh, <laughs> American movies in the 80s. Alright, so there we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. I also need to QC these things because uh, lately they had like uh, issues with quality control problems with these figures or something like that. So yeah, it's uh, it's easier for me to catch some problem here before we send it overseas. So, anyway. So we have the back of the packaging here. Let's get the figure out. There's a lot of packaging in here, huh? Alright, first I want to test out this Atlantean, so I think it's plasticized. It feels very flexible. Yep, it's it's a uh, Yeah, it's plasticized. It's a plasticized Atlantean sword. Let's see if and then we have the plastic. Yeah, these things are definitely oversized. Yeah. 
completely oversized for one uh, 110 scale. I don't know why they came out came with these accessories when this thing is like freaking uh, as tall as Conan, almost as tall as well. Actually, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> these thing is like this thing is ridiculous. And here's a broken father sword right there. And uh, let's go ahead and break Taria over here. Get my knife out of the way. Hang on. Let me just take her sword out of here. And compare. Alright, so we have the Valkyrie sword. And then we have the uh, Lantian sword. Yeah, dude, this thing is definitely, this definitely can be 1-6 scale. The handle is almost the same freaking size. It's slightly smaller. Yeah, and the blade. The blade is actually bigger <laughs> than the, this Valkyrie sword. Although I have to say 1-6 scale accessory is definitely a little bit more detail. Um, yeah, but this thing is definitely highly detailed for something that's made for 110 scale. It's just, you know, it's plasticized. This thing is solid. Well, this thing is sort of plasticized. It's just a, it's a thicker piece of plastic. Thicker piece of plasticized PVC. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's put the sword. Uh, let's go ahead and put the sword over here. Let's see uh, she can wield the uh, Atlantean sword. Anyway, the, the, uh, these swords are officially not part of the... Uh, uh, they're not officially part of the Conan's accessory anyway. Alright, so you have Taria using the uh, Atlantean sword. That's actually pretty cool. There we go, we have the Atlantean sword on this Valkyrie. And I guess she can wield the Broken Father sword too. See, this this is kind of ridiculous. I don't know why they uh, made this sword so big. I was I was at the store and uh, I was asking the clerk like, "Hey, you know what? What kind of like where did you guys get the mold for that father sword? Did someone just like randomly 3D print it off like some other figure or copy like an existing uh design or something like that? Why is it so big?" <laughs> yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Alright, so anyway, uh, we have that, and then we have Conan. Alright, we have his, uh, I don't, I think these are called Katars, because I, I played this game called Final Fantasy XI, and the melee uh, hand weapons are called Katars. Yeah, these are definitely Katars. So, these are like the jamming melee punching weapons. And then we have the uh, head sculpt right here. A screaming head scope. Oh, they're using these ridiculous ties. I do not like these. Well, at least I don't have to cut them open. I can just, you know, bend them out. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry about this review running too long because uh, it's not. Because these things don't have a lot of articulation. They're designed to be like retro style figures. So, like single jointed elbows, single jointed. Uh, knees and uh, no app crunch, I think. Or if there is app crunch, it's not gonna be like very useful. Woo! Am I doing something wrong here? I hope I'm not doing something wrong here. Oh, there's a rubber band that connects to his leg. Okay, well, there we go. So here we have Conan. Uh, the figure is definitely plasticized. It's kind of like the Mattel plasticized plastic. Yeah, it's not super heavy plasticized, but you can feel the flexibility. Yeah, it's plasticized PVC. All over. Every piece is a plasticized PVC. Okay, uh, the figure doesn't feel loose. Can he stand on his own? This is something I want to find out. Yes, he can stand on his own. Oh, actually, yeah, it's very, very, very solid. Okay, and then we have the foot hinge right here. And then we have the ankle pivot, ankle rocker. Um, yeah, okay. Anyway, single jointed knee. 
not even 90 degrees. We have the fly cut. I think they're going after the uh, Masters of the Universe, the Mattel stuff. A similar articulation to that. We have the fly cut right there. And then we kick forward and back forward fly cut right there. Do the splits. Uh, waist articulation. I think he has ab crunch, but it's probably hindered by this outfit. I think you can take this outfit off. You have to cut it right here. And then split the outfit if that's if you want to make a custom or something like that. Because I know uh, a lot of people are saying, like, you know, in the scene where he's wearing, using the gauntlets thing. I think these are gauntlets, I think. I don't know. Uh, in the scenes that he's using these, uh, he is uh, uh, he's shirtless. So, yeah. He's supposed to be shirtless when he's using these weapons. Hang on. I think this is how he holds it. There are no instruction manuals, so you just have to, like, you know, do whatever. I mean, these these look really nice. Yeah, these these look really nice. Doesn't say oh, it does say left or right. So this one goes on the left, and then this one goes on the right. So this is the one that goes on the right. Yeah, I mean it's it's plasticized PVC. It's not like something I'm super interested in. I'm just testing to see if there's any quality control issue. I don't see any paint issues. I don't think it's this is even possible to mess up. So, yeah, all the it, it's mostly painted really nicely, and the head is on a ball joint actually. Yeah, the head is very plasticized. Ooh, it's super plasticized. Oh my god, yeah, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> heavily, heavily plasticized. Uh, yep, and then we have the uh, alternate head right here. Again, very plasticized. Wow, that's super plasticized. Oh boy. You got a necklace right there, uh, shoulder can hinge out. We have the bicep swivel, single jointed elbow. We got a wrist hinge, uh, straight peg right there. Let's see him uh, let's pop the head on, or at least try. And then let's see if he hold his uh, uh, guitars. Woo, I almost poked myself into this thing. Oh, that's actually pretty hard. Okay, well, got to be careful with this part. This is actually very sharp. Holy shit, and I didn't bleed. Like, it poked right into my fingernail. That actually hurt. Son of a... Okay, so I guess some parts are plasticized, more plasticized than others. Uh, obviously, this thing, I think is... Uh, yeah, this is, this is definitely plasticized PVC. Can seem to uh, get the guitars in there. Well, if it's just difficult to get the guitars into his hand, it's gonna be a nightmare putting that father sword, broken father sword, and that lantern sword in here. I think, uh, yeah, some people will probably want to heat this up or pry it open. I'm gonna try to pry it open a little bit to get this freaking guitars in there. There you go. Uh, I would say this is a this is a quality figure for what it is. You know, it's designed to be very retro. Just be careful with those spikes on the hands. Uh, I would definitely say uh, the quality is definitely up there with NECA products. In fact, I think like some parts are definitely even better than you know NECA products. The arm doesn't break. I don't see any breakage, so that's definitely good. <laughs> yeah, and there we go. That's, that's Conan. Alrighty, that's actually a pretty cool figure. And uh, we got the father sword right there. Broken father sword. Yeah, the, these things are just weight, weight out, weight oversized 
for this guy. Okay. Uh, to give you guys an honest rating, even though I'm not like familiar with this kind of brand, a personal rating of uh, 4 out of 5. Uh, if you guys are buying this, you guys know exactly what you're getting. And uh, yeah, if you guys know exactly what you're getting, then you'll probably just buy these anyway, regardless of what they are. Uh, but yeah, objectively, these are, you know, 4 out of 5. Uh, because we're not comparing it to like, you know, modern day action figures. These are like, uh, kind of like a modern take on a vintage style figure. So, definitely pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they're going to task me to get more of these for my for our friends in the uh, overseas. But if they are, I'm definitely interested in looking into the uh, Ninja Turtle stuff. Because I am so tired of the NECA shit <laughs> that we had to deal with recently. So yeah, this is it. This is the uh, uh, Super 7 uh, Conan the Barbarian Pit Fighter Conan from the Wave 3 of the uh, uh, Super 7 uh, Conan the Barbarian Movie Figures Ultimates line. Thanks for watching.